What's poppin'? All right, fam. All right, ball chicken in here. And today, we have a lot to discuss. Now, let's jump right into it. First off, salute the notification gang. Hit that like button before the video even start. Y'all the real art right, fam. Salute. Up first, we got that boy Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar Jackson won the Heisman Trophy, and rightfully so. Lamar Jackson is one of the fastest quarterbacks I've ever seen in my life, bro. Even Vic spoke out and said, at this age, he way better than I was. He's 10 times better than I was. Now, the guy couldn't celebrate his Heisman Trophy because of social media. Everybody like, oh, he hanging with Johnny Manziel. Get away from him. Check this out. <laughs> that way. <laughs> I'm sitting back thinking the whole time. Hey, yo, uh, ball. Lamar Jackson is from the same hood Kodak Black is from, if I'm not mistaken. Jenna Manziel is like a lead choir singer compared to those dudes he witnessed every day when he home. Cut it out social media. And he's not the one glorifying hanging with Jenna Manziel. It's Jenna Manziel posting pictures and video with him on his IG. Y'all cut it out. Lamar Jackson on his IG is celebrating with his mom and celebrating winning the Heisman Trophy, man. Salute to Lamar Jackson. Speaking of Kodak, up next we got that boy Kodak Black. Project baby, y'all was skipping in the hallway. I was skipping school. Yes, that boy Kodak Black, the finesse kid, is up next. Now Kodak Black has been booked for his first show since being out of jail. Check this out. Yo, it's your boy Lil Yike, man. It's your boy Yike, your boy Kodak Black, man. It's hot, man. I'm back out here. I'm back in on better, man. Catch me at my first show in Florida, now I'm saying December 29th, Thursday at Club Hill. You know what's going on. Come on. Kodak Black is also spending more time in church. Now, I told y'all when he got out, I said, Kodak Black PR team got to hit the ground running, changing his image or whatever, because that rape thing is hard to shake, even when you prove it innocent. Now, my guy's doing his time in church, showing y'all that, hey, I'm changing my life. I'm getting closer to God. He also been boxing, showing y'all that, hey, I've been seeing all the fat jokes on boxing, you know, getting back in shape. Salute to Kodak. Up next, we got that boy 600 Breezy. Now, 600 Breezy had an interview with No Jumper, which was dope. Salute to No Jumper. The link will be in the description of the full interview. Salute to them. Anyway, the interview was dope, like I said. Now, during the interview, the part that stuck out to me was 600 Breezy stated that he wished he would have set a better example for Rondo number no. 9. Y'all know 600 Breezy grew up doing all kind of street stuff. And Rondo number no. 9 is his little homie, so he grew up seeing, like, okay, he, my guy's doing all that kind of street stuff. So I'm going to follow up behind him. But he eventually got jammed up doing some street stuff. So 600 Breezy like, dang, I should have set a better example, fam. Now, I honestly think 600 Breezy being too hard on himself because Rondo number no. 9 is his own guy. But, hey, y'all may feel different about it below. Now, he said he talked to Rondo number no. 9 often. And Rondo is in good spirits. He like, man, I'll be out of here soon enough and he get a pill. So salute to Rondo holding his head up. Now, what do you guys think down below? Y'all think 600 is right? Or is he being too hard on himself? Let me know. Up next, we got that boy Main Music. Now, Main Music is a Baton Rouge rapper that got crazy buzz right now. Now, y'all already know the crazy stuff going on with Baton Rouge, 22 Savage, 21 Savage, no plug. Now, Main Music was doing an interview with Say Cheese TV. I'm going to have their channel in the description down below. Y'all sub to them. Go spam up their stuff with Art Ball sent me here to let them know. I salute them. Now, this is a video from Say Cheese during the interview. 21 Savage called main music and he picked up. Check this out. Give him round, you know. I'm gonna chop it up with you for real, you know. I gotta holler at you. You know, yeah. some real other shit, you know, cause niggas ain't that shit don't be going like that, man. We ain't indulging in that shit. Yeah. Shit, as soon as you get through doing that, just call me that. That's a bet. Alright. Alright. Time this was posted on Say Cheese, IG folks went crazy. Oh, you trading on Bad Rouge. You sucking up the 21 Savage. Oh, man, you trading on Bad Rouge. Everybody saying something but 22 Savage and other Bad Rouge rappers. They the ones not going out of control or jumping the gun. Because Say Cheese, my boy Sean Kai, called the end of the conversation. I'm sure he was fumbling the phone like, oh, this is an exclusive right here, man. This is some stuff right here. And caught the tail end of the conversation. The old guys could be sitting up with something to squash the beef amongst Ben Rouge, 22 Savage, 21 Savage, and no plug. So y'all got to hold off on, you know, thinking that this guy automatically trading on Ben Rouge. Now, salute to Say Cheese for getting this on camera, bro. Y'all follow him. So up to his channel. He also got an interview coming up with that boy BTY Youngin. Sean Cotton is working, man. Salute to him. Y'all be sure to sub to his channel, like I said. Anyway, I'm about to be out of here. 
Let me know what y'all think about that whole situation down below. Sub to my channel if you haven't. Press that sub button. Also, press that bell beside it so you can get a notification anytime I drop something. Also, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description. Follow me on IG at Relatable Oddball. I'm about to be out of here. Thanks for the support. I can't thank you guys enough. Oddball.